Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this keto chicken pot pie soup. Hey guys, I'm so excited to show you how to make this keto chicken pot pie soup. It is going to be delicious. To get started, we are going to make the biscuits, which is going to be the breading topping for our soup. And I've already got my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've got one cup of almond flour in this bowl. To that, I'm going to add to this, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's our dry. I'm just going to mix that in with the almond flour. And we're going to add in two beaten eggs. This is just a really simple, basic keto cheddar biscuit recipe. It's so delicious. I'm going to add a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a quarter of a cup of melted butter. So that's all for our biscuit recipe. Let's stir that. This is gonna make six biscuits. Okay, I've got a lined sheet tray here and I'm just gonna scoop the batter evenly onto here to make six biscuits. Okay, that was easy peasy. And these are gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, let's get started with our soup. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of avocado oil to this pot. And I'm gonna add in a half a cup of carrots, shredded or diced, a half a cup of diced onion, and a cup of diced celery. And we're just gonna cook these until they're soft. Okay, our vegetables are looking nice and soft. And so we're gonna add in six diced up boneless skinless chicken thighs. We're also gonna add four cloves of diced or minced garlic. We just wanna stir this until the chicken's cooked through. I'm gonna season it with a good amount of salt and pepper. Okay, our chicken is cooked all the way through. I'm gonna sprinkle a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum on top of the chicken and this is just going to help thicken it and we want to sprinkle it lightly so it doesn't clump whenever we add i'm going to stir it and then we're going to add the chicken broth and some heavy cream so we've got two and a half cups of chicken broth and one cup of heavy cream so now we're going to bring this to a boil and then that will activate the xanthan gum and this will start to thicken. Okay, we've got a nice boil going on here. It's looking really good. Look at that. So now let's serve it up. And this will thicken up more as it cools, but I'm impatient because this is going to be my lunch. <laughs> let's put a biscuit on top and let's get a bite. Make sure I get some of that biscuit in there. That is so good and the perfect lunch to have all fall and winter long when it's nice and cold out. You're gonna love this recipe. Check out this recipe here for my keto cheeseburger soup. It is delicious. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.